Hi learners, welcome. In this video, I am going to explain uh, different and rare types of bonds between metals in metal clusters. Generally, we will find these types of bonds in metal clusters. Uh, between metals, uh, there may be possibility of having 4 bonds, 5 bonds and even 6 bonds also. In this video, I am going to explain about them. And before that, you know about uh, the bonds that are existing between the, uh, between the carbon atoms or between any atoms. Like a single bond may be present, double bond may be present or triple bond may be present. Single bond means only one sigma. So whenever the orbitals are undergoing on the axis overlap, we will get sigma bonds. And here one sigma plus one pi bond. Okay, uh, pi bond is to get, uh, will get when orbitals undergo sideways overlap. Whenever you say there is a triple bond, one sigma plus two pi bonds will be there. So these things already uh, you know about it. Now I am going to discuss uh, particularly in between the metals what type of bonds are present. Ray types of bonds. So first type is quadruple bond. So quadruple bond means here the uh, bond order is 4. Between two metals number of bonds are 4. Bond, rod, bond order of these two, this type of bond is 4. Example, if you take rhenium halide cluster. Okay, in this cluster, the bond between uh, rhenium, two rhenium atoms, if you see, there exists 4 bonds. Okay, so if you see, uh, what are those 4 bonds? 1 sigma bond, 2 pi bonds. And you can find one more type of bond that is called delta bond. We call it as delta. Okay. Let's see how generally uh, these four bonds are resulting because of um, d orbital, d orbital overlap. Okay. D orbital, d orbital interactions will be there in this case. And we know there are five types of d orbitals. dz square, dyz, dzx and d x y okay when dz square dz square orbitals undergoes on the axis overlap it results sigma bond and dyz dyz dzx dzx undergoes sideways overlap and results two pi bonds and similarly d x y d x y also undergoes sideways overlap and it is weaker than pi bond and we call it as delta bond is the fourth bond in this way there is a possibility of having four bonds between two metals okay now these type of bonds not only we find in uranium clusters we can find uh, metal clusters with technetium molybdenum tungsten chromium these metals generally forms quadruple bond that's the first type where the bond order is four and second type that we find in metal clusters with bond order 5 is quintuple bond. We call it as quintuple, quintuple bond. So what is quintuple bond means? Quintuple bond means bond order is 4. Sorry, bond order is 5. We will we discussed already about bond order 4. Now it is bond order 5. Means between two metals there exists five bonds generally chromium forms uh, this type of metal clusters okay chromium chromium example i will show you a metal cluster you can see this is a cluster where between two chromium metals there exists five bonds so this is one sigma bond okay two pi bonds these two are pi bonds and these two are delta bonds so between two chromium there are five bonds what are they? 1 sigma, 2 pi and 2 delta bonds. How they, uh, what orbital overlaps resulting these type of bonds? Let us see. Again dz square, dz square overlap gives sigma bond. dyz, dyz, dzx, dzx overlap gives pi bond, pi bond dx square y square dx square y square orbitals to undergo sideways overlap and results delta bond 
dxy dxy and go sideways overlap and this is delta bond in this way uh, there is a possibility of getting five bonds between the metals see 1 2 3 4 5 1 sigma 2 pi and 2 delta so generally these type of um, bonds are observed in chromium clusters and one more uh, category uh, the new type of bond that we find in metal clusters is that is, there is a possibility of even having six bonds maximum that we call as x triple bond in this case the bond order is six bond order is six what is the meaning of bond order the bonds between two atoms here the atoms are metals between two metals the bond order is six example for such type of molecules are dimolybdenum and ditungsten and in gaseous state dimolybdenum and ditungsten used to shows six bonds 1 2 3 4 5 6 between two molybdenum metals so here the distribution of uh, who is involving we know there are maximum five d orbitals then from where we are getting sixth bond means here uh, s orbital also involves in the bond formation so s s overlap gives sigma bond okay dz square dz square overlap gives sigma bond dyz dyz gives pi bond dzx dzx gives pi bond dx square y square dx square y square gives delta bond dxy dxy gives delta bond so in this case you can see two sigma bonds two pi bonds and two delta bonds so these three are the rare cases that we find only in metal clusters where the bond is formed because of d orbitals overlap okay and uh, i gave a few examples of those metal clusters which are having more than three bonds quadruple quintuple and sextuple bonds bond order four five and six so it's very very rare and very important metal clusters thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel